Well, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the garage. So today I'm actually gonna be showing you how to put a sprocket on a wheelbarrow tire from a Harbor Freight uh, for projects that you have like a go-kart or a mini bike or anything like that that you want to have a uh, back tire with a sprocket on there. Sometimes it can be tricky so I just figured I'll show you how I do it and uh, maybe you can get some ideas off of it as well. So to start out with I'm going to be using a, uh, a tire from Harbor Freight that I bought a long time ago and I just figured go ahead and uh, put a sprocket on it and I'll go ahead and leave uh, like links or something for the uh, stuff I used for this, this project here. So my first impression or idea was to just go ahead and go like this, weld the sprocket on, and uh, call it a day. But we can't quite do that because we don't have enough clearance for a chain inside of there if we just do that. So what I come up with is found this guy which has the same diameter as our sprocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy on there like so and then we'll be able to put the spacer for the motorized bike um, sprocket and we'll have plenty of room for, for our chain. I'm going to go ahead and cut this into a nice circle and see if I can get behind there with the welder. We'll see. Alright, so I went ahead and cut our little part out and uh, tried to make it as circular as possible just with the grinder and then with the, uh, the little grinding wheel thing that I have. I'm actually going to change my plan up. So originally I was going to go like this and I was trying to get behind it, weld it, but that's not really going to be too easy even if I do take off the tire. So what I did was rig up myself some, uh, what is this called? Sanding paper. And I'm just going to shove this in there. And, uh,. Do that for about five hours, and then um, hopefully this will be round enough to fit over this guy right here. All right, so about 45 minutes later, I managed to this guy big enough to fit around here. Uh, you probably could have just went to the store and bought some washers that you could have just put over there instead of this but I don't know I didn't want to go to the store so next what I'm gonna go ahead and do is line up this guy poke some holes into here and then go like that alright guys so I got our little part here Put the new holes drilled. I only did one, two, three, four, five of them. That's probably all we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here and uh, make sure it's all true and whatnot and then weld around it. So I went ahead and threw the bearing in on the other side and uh, put a shaft through it so that I can just spin it and see if this guy is uh, pretty well true. Uh, it looks like it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and bolt on our sprocket and see if uh, it looks good. Alright guys, check it out. We got ourselves <clears throat> our sprocket bolted on there. Look at uh, the sprocket itself. It's just nice and good to go. And it's removable. It's not welded on there. So that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, all right guys, well that is it for uh, kind of my take on how to put a, a uh, sprocket onto a wheel that wouldn't normally have one on there. So I think that's it. I like the look of that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You could have just, uh, you could either do this or you could have just bought one for uh, 78 bucks on uh, the internet. But anyways, 
appreciate you guys watching, and I uh, hope you found something useful out of this. All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, and then also here is a couple of some of my favorite comments that I had. I really appreciate all the suggestions that you guys do. Keep doing what you're doing. All right.